Hey guys, okay, so yes, I decided let's film as many videos as I can and drink this entire bottle of wine. So today we're gonna talk about the mysterious death of John Lang. John Lang was a man who lived in Fresno, California. He was 51 years old and there's not much information regarding John Lang and his life and anything before the the death it was all you know there's very little known except for the little bit that has to do with his death so John believed that the Fresno police were after him and that they were targeting him he actually had a series of Facebook posts that he would say that the Fresno police were gonna kill him, that if anything happened to him to blame the Fresno police, that they were watching him. There were even some times where he had posted, does anybody wanna come stay the night with me um, because you know they're after me. There was even one post where he said, if I disappear this weekend, or if I go missing, it was because the Fresno police murdered me. So he was convinced and he believed that the Fresno police were after him because he stated that he uncovered like a scam that the Fresno police would go to parking lots of convenience stores in lower income neighborhoods and scan the tags of the cars. And then um, a few blocks later they would pull pull over the person in an unmarked police car and say that it was like a, a routine stop even though they had already been scanning the license plates and he said they would do this specifically in lower income neighborhoods and that because he made that known that that's why they were after him everything that he said kind of seemed like something that somebody who's paranoid or maybe uh, dealing with some kind of mental illness um, would say, you know, like police are after me or government officials are after me, they're watching me. It all really sounds very paranoid. However, he started recording the outside of his house and he recorded what seemed to be people walking up to his house, um, people in unmarked cars kind of um, across the street from his house. Um, he even recorded once just the Fresno police just all outside his on the other side of his house just standing there talking just kind of standing there making their presence known. And what's very suspicious about that is why are the police just hanging out in front of somebody's house? Like what? I don't understand that part. Does it make sense? Like why are they just hanging outside of his house? And then um, he also recorded another car, like a, a like a black van across the street from his house, and they had like the side the back door open, and you can see somebody with a camera. I wouldn't say intricate. I don't know, but a camera pointing towards his house recording so it seemed like yes maybe he sounded kind of paranoid but it wasn't without fault I mean if somebody if I walked outside and I saw somebody having a camera pointed to my house I would definitely be suspicious I mean I'm the type of person that like when I'm walking home I go out and I come home late or it's already dark when I come home I literally well, my house, the back entrance to my house also has like a little, not, definitely not a forest, but it's like a little shrub, right? And it's completely dark and you can't see anything through it. And I literally always feel like, what if somebody's there? And I just like rush into my house and I'm like panicking, trying to open the door. Um, so seeing something like that, um, like somebody watching me or somebody or multiple people like walking around my house, like it would just make me I think even more paranoid so his Facebook posts were concerning because he was worried that something was going to happen to him so on January 20th 2016 John Lang died and here's here's the whole thing so on January 20th 2016 
John Lang's house was on fire when the police came and the fire department when everybody came they had found John Lang at first what is suspicious is that the first initial police report said that John Lang had superficial stab wounds to his uh, chest and abdomen and upper back and then later after they did um an autopsy and whatever then they amended the statement and they said that he only had um, superficial wounds to his chest and that there was no wounds on his back so they ruled the death a suicide and they said that he likely died of inhaling smoke um, due to the fire so the police's theory is that John Lane committed suicide stabbed himself in that set himself and his house on fire. So here's where it's suspicious. It's suspicious that he had all these recordings of people outside of his house, people recording him, the police, the actual police, Fresno police outside or across the street from his house, just there. It's also very suspicious that the reports are conflicting that at first they said that he had stab wounds in the chest, abdomen, and upper neck. And then afterwards it was amended to say no, he only had superficial wounds to his chest. So it just all seems very suspicious. Some people believe that maybe he was just mentally ill and paranoid and these events that he recorded or things that he saw were just isolated incidents and didn't really have anything to do with it and because he was paranoid he put them together as a conspiracy and that people were after him because like i said his facebook posts and rants do seem like the like something a paranoid person would say somebody who thinks that someone's after them but then other the other side is a lot of people also think that the fresno police did have something to do with it and the fact that they would rule it a suicide like who stabs themselves in the back like how do you even like i mean i guess you could but i just it just doesn't make sense to me that he would stab himself and then set his house on fire um it just doesn't seem like he was planning to do that based off his facebook post especially because he had asked people to like if anybody wanted to come and stay the night with him you know so he had somebody there so it didn't really seem like he was suicidal um he did leave live alone so i mean i guess anything is possible i don't know i think that it is suspicious i think that there's more to this than just john lane committed suicide i don't know if i believe that he committed suicide i think that all everything put together just seems very sketch and suspicious and i don't know i just don't believe that he committed suicide i think that there's something more going on and i just i like if it were not for the camera the cctv that he had recording the front of his house I think everybody would be without a doubt just being like he's like either a paranoid schizophrenic or or has some type of mental illness and is, or is just you know someone suffering from mental illness I don't believe that I don't know if it weren't for the camera I maybe I would believe that but everything put together it just seems like more something's more is going on there but let me know what you guys think do you think it was a suicide do you think he mis misinterpreted everything that was happening and kind of created this scenario in his mind to believe like this is what's happening or do you guys think that yes the police had something to do with it and everything is just like they're covering it up by making it seem like a suicide and covering up their tracks by setting the house on fire um i don't know you guys let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one